Kim. And I'm Brad. We're 626 Ohana, California, and today is our travel day. Yeah, so where are we going again? We're going to Walt Disney World for yeah. part one of our trip. Part one, yeah, there's two parts. The second part, we're keeping a little bit of a secret. But let's put it this way. I wouldn't be surprised if we're traveling over 6,000 miles just in the air. Okay, anyways, uh, try to figure that one out. <laughs> I would be shocked if you guys do, and it's probably not what you're thinking, and you'll think we're crazy by the end of this adventure. <laughs> That's however, if everything goes according to plan. So yeah, we had to do a plan and have it go pretty good. So first thing we had to do was go to the school and pick a kid up, say hi. Hi. And uh, Hayden finished his finals and we officially have a sophomore. Yay. Hey. All right, sophomore. They're still lower classmen. Anyways. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna get our ride. And we're going to Orlando. Molly well, Frost, but let's go to LAX first. Okay, I'm just fast forwarding. Yeah, and then we take the long plane ride to. Orlando. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So just to let you guys know, this is a different kind of travel day for us. We're used to getting up first thing in the morning and leaving. Now we're leaving in the afternoon and we're gonna get to Walt Disney World at night. So that's gonna kind of be interesting to see what the differences are because everything should be shut down by the time we're there. Yeah. As far as restaurants, things like that. Yeah, just like our power at home right now. We woke up this morning, we were given a notification they're shutting our power off, which makes it a little bit more challenging right before you leave, of course. So if we look a little funny, we were getting ready in the dark. <laughs> uh, and that's maybe why we look a little dark. Uh, the other thing is, well, when we get to Orlando, Kim did something a little bit special. Okay, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I wanna see how this turns out. So stay tuned to see what we do. Yeah, the reason we did this is because like Kim said, everything is closed when we get there. And we're still on Pacific Standard Time. So I have two hungry guys with us. Um, come see something that we're trying for the first time. See if we like it. We'll review it for you guys and see what y'all think. Okay. Once we get to Orlando, obviously we have a car that's gonna take us to from the Orlando airport to? Be announced. Oh, you don't wanna say it now? No, stay oh. tuned. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna do a room tour and maybe go to bed about Midnight, one o'clock Orlando time. I'm guessing more closer to one o'clock, depending on how our luggage goes at Orlando airport, which we've only had luck one time we've been there. Yeah. We're getting it. <laughs> All right, so we are ready to start off on this fun-filled adventure. Come along with us and let's go. Yeah, and I forgot to say something. If you notice, we're filming in 4K right now. Oh yeah, that's Ooh. gonna be a first. All right, let's get going. Let's go hop into our ride to the airport. Maybe we'll show you some Southern California sunny weather on the way. Sunny weather? I thought we were just showing LA traffic. It's terrible. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, he's already out the door. <laughs> Yeah, so we got here last night, and I'm saying last night because... Well, it was actually early this morning. Yeah, well, by the time we got here, it was about midnight. Exactly. So and that's what I by early morning today. And the weirdest sight ever was seeing the airport with nobody in it. MCO was a ghost town. Like, it was weird seeing all those shops with the metal gates all closed in front of them, and nobody, like, we're the... like. Yeah. Very few people in front of us. Yeah, that was just odd. And even the road to get here was odd. So not seeing any traffic like at Magic Kingdom or just going through the main gate. It was weird. It was disorienting because we're not used to showing up in the moonlight. Yeah, the reason we're saying this is we're usually here. We take an early morning flight out of LA and usually here for a good, you know, get about three or four park hours in. And Sometimes or at least a good dinner. Yeah. Um, this time, no. And so what we did for dinner was we did... Oh, Sabrina's Delicacies. And kudos to her, truthfully. That, that platter looked absolutely <laughs> awesome. 
It was beautiful. And so Sabrina's Delicacies, I'll link in down below. It is a non-sponsored deal. It's just a deal that Kim found online and well, people were raving about her. I found it because of Disney food blog. So I was like, okay, um, we're getting in late. Everything's going to be closed. And since we're still on West Coast time, we're going to be hungry. Yeah. So uh, we took some nice pictures as you're seeing and then we devoured it. <laughs> Um, that was pretty much our dinner and unfortunately what we had a problem with is even trying to get the tray here it took bell services well over an hour but that had nothing to do with Sabrina's delicacy no no, no absolutely not Sabrina's delicacies they did an awesome job exactly what we asked for <laughs> actually it's kind of cool because when you order it she has you put in like what you want and so I said you know I thought we'd want a lot of fruit something refreshing um, some cheese and lots of meat and I asked for those, she had like these squares that were chocolate squares and they're actually chocolate and caramel. And so I asked a few of those, but I also asked for some like Bryce friendly chocolate for Hayden. Bryce, Bryce friendly, sorry. <laughs> so she gave us chocolate covered um, pretzels so that Hayden would have something to snack onto. Yeah. So it was kind of cool and I, I'll have to look, I'll link the price right here of what we paid for it. Yeah, so. That worked awesome. Um, like I was saying though, unfortunately Bell Services took well over an hour to get to our room with our stuff. And this is at midnight. So we're like, okay, it shouldn't be a big issue, but it turned out to be a big issue. So by the time everything was said and done, we didn't get to bed last night until about 2.45. Yeah. And we woke up early, well not early. We'll explain about this later <laughs> in the next video. You'll see kind of meeting up. Um, so what time do you like to show up at Orlando airport? Do you like to show up early morning, like in a red eye or afternoon or evening? Comment down below. Now, <laughs> Brad and Hayden have never let me forget when we did a red eye. I hear no, about it no, no, every no, no, time no, we book. No. <laughs> <laughs> so red eyes are not our friend. I think I like the time of this flight, but I don't like it. Okay. Does that make sense? I liked it because we made the most out of our time here in Orlando. Yeah. I liked that we didn't have to rush to feel rushed to get out of the house extremely early in the morning and getting here. I didn't like getting here and having everything closed. I did like the meat platter, but I didn't like going to bed and the next day. Oh, charcuterie. I'm sorry. I did not like going to bed the next day though. Okay. Um, the, with that, I think it's time for us to say goodbye and Find, Find your, your magic. magic. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.